How's everybody doing this afternoon? Um, what I wanna just look at in this video is how to quickly bring in an HDRI into um, Lumion. Now, it's not exactly like what you would think with an HDRI file, because it doesn't bring in the lighting, but it's the JPEG, um, because in my opinion, Lumion has real skies, which works just fine for doing the lighting, um, but you really want that picture in the background. Now, this is something I've gone over in other videos, but I am gonna be talking about it more uh, in the next video I was gonna make. So I wanted to make a smaller video so that people can kind of just like see this one part because I do think it's pretty important. Um, basically, what you do is you just go into something like, this works in Blender, but I have done it in SketchUp. If you do use SketchUp, just go in the 3D warehouse and I've actually already made them. Just type in HDRI and you should see some of the finished spheres. Um, but basically what I do for this one, and I will save um, the this, this um this sphere in the drive. So you don't have to do anything with Blender. I just want to show you kind of what I do and then you can download it. Um, this, and as I said, this is just the condensed version. I've gone through all this in other videos, but I want people that just quickly were like, how do you do it? This is the quickest way um, or the quickest video you can look at. So I basically just make a UV sphere. Um, normally I'll make the segments like 200 and the rings at like 50. So this looks fairly good. And I actually bring it down here because in Lumion, I want the origin to be, um, at the top because it can only go 200 meters into the ground, which kind of messes it up sometimes. So um, basically what we have is a just a sphere like this, and it's already unwrapped in the proper way for putting uh, HDRI images on it. So what you can do though is if you hit face orientation, now everything that's blue you'll see in Lumion. The issue is that when it's red like this on the inside, you're gonna see out of it, so you won't even notice that it's there. So what I do is I go into edit mode. I just uh, flip this quickly. And then what you have is this means that like when you're inside of the sphere, you can't see out, but the light is going to pass through it because it's red on the outside. Um, that's basically all you need to know. So I've already saved this. Um, I've exported it. So what I'm going to do is I will uh, import it again, HDRI, and then I'll just drop this here. Uh, and normally you can bring this up. So I bring it like way up. And as you can see, it kind of looks weird because what we're seeing is we're actually... Um, we're seeing the inside of it. So you're actually seeing the light pass through and you're seeing the opposite side. That's why it looks so strange uh, in this. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna keep dragging this up. Oops. I'm gonna drag this up to like here. I'm gonna hold L. I'm just gonna make this bigger. And then I'm gonna keep doing this. And I'm probably gonna drag it up more. Um, and then yeah, so I'll Go back to select, move up. Oops. There we go. So I think something like that should be good. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to HRI Haven. So I'll leave a link below, um, but I'm just gonna find one that I think looks acceptable. So you don't want one with too many trees like that go way up um, just because like, um, you, you can kind of adjust it, but you, you want it so that you're only seeing the sky and you can actually get them from Polygon, um, like the actual real skies um, that they use, like it's the same pictures. Now you might be like, why aren't I just using real skies? Um, that is completely possible to use, but as you kind of know, you can't bring in custom ones. This will let you bring in your own HDRIs. Plus I actually like doing this, even if it's gonna look the same as real skies, because you have more control over a texture than you do the real skies. Real skies, you only get heading brightness and overall brightness. Whereas if you bring it in as a texture, um, you can change the emissiveness. So like how bright it looks, the saturation, all this like just stuff like that and changing the heading. So as you can see here though, I'm gonna download the 8K tone map uh, JPEG. Unfortunately, when you're doing this, you can only use 8K, but I mean, that's like the perfect size for this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. Uh, I'm gonna add a standard material, and then I'm gonna go to my downloads, and I'm gonna throw this on. And like I said, we may need to just kind of move this around a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just give this a second. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the, uh, <clears throat> the gloss and the uh, reflectivity, and then it's gonna look pretty normal. Um, just give this a moment though. It just takes a while to yeah change the material. So as you can see, it comes in like this, which is not what we want. So we turn the colorization down, gloss, reflectivity, and relief down. Uh, you can actually just delete the normal map if you want. So right off the bat, that looks okay, but it's not great. Uh, we are gonna turn, I like to turn the emissiveness up. And then I'm also gonna, 
just to kind of adjust this a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to drag this up more. And might rotate this too. As you can see, just by doing this, it kind of goes exactly how you want it. So I think maybe something like that. The only thing is, is when you're doing this, you kind of have to make sure that the sun lines up with where the, the real the sun is coming in the uh, in the image. So I won't play around with that too, too much. But as you can see, um, this works pretty well. And yeah, like I said, you might be like, well, why don't you just use real skies? You can, but this lets you get the exact one that you want in. So if you're willing to kind of play around with how it looks, if you make it really big, you may actually be able to get like um, a city's actual um, panorama in there. So you could have like the background buildings and stuff like that. And it's just really easy. The only downside of doing it like this is that you do have to make it really big or the, um, the buildings will kind of warp. Um, so you may have to just kind of play around and tinker with that. Um, but I will show you this as well. So what I was kind of talking about is having more settings is like down here, like so specular, not really a big deal. Flicker reduction, not a big deal. But having the saturation um, and the emissiveness, I think is really good because it, it just gives you more control over how the sun or the sky looks. And so as you can see, like if you want like a really blue sky, like I think that's a little too blue. Um, you just have more control over it. Plus you can play around with it in the... Um, in the color correction and it's going to get affected by it. I've also found that it uh, sometimes it can give better reflections um, because Lumion is actually like cal like looking at it, um, the reflection plane, it's hitting the sky. Like you do get that with real skies, but I just find that this one sometimes like works better. Like you can kind of see like it's giving almost this like bluish tint to the scene uh, on the road when it's like that. So that's just another thing that I, I found that is a little bit different than the real skies. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick video because I wanted to show you that if you are interested in getting this model I'm gonna leave a link to a Google Drive that you can just um, you take it straight in Get your JPEG map from HDRI Haven and then you're good to go um, If you're interested also in learning a little bit more about how I do this uh, Especially with backgrounds. I have a very long video about it And I also have one of how to do it in SketchUp and that one's not as long so I'll leave links uh, below the video to those um, I am gonna say quickly that um, I am releasing a video tomorrow about exterior lighting in um, in Lumion. It has taken me a bit of time to kind of get together, but I'll show you, I guess, sort of what, I, what I've been doing. So right now I have it. So like if a lot of people have seen my realistic lighting video for interiors, I'm going to try and do the same thing with this scene for exteriors, except I made it a little bit different this time because I made it so that for this uh, example here, I actually took the slider amount and I put it in. And so as the effect is changing for basically all the effects that I could find that were lighting related, you're going to have the slider down here. So you can actually see like as the slider goes up, what's it actually doing to the scene. So hopefully uh, people will check out that video tomorrow. Uh, I have put a lot of work into it. So uh, hopefully uh, people find it helpful. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button uh, and stick around for some of the videos that I have coming out this month. I think uh, we're going to be starting off 2021 with uh, a bit of a bang, so that will be uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, I also just want to thank everyone. Um, it was uh, 2020 was a pretty good start to the YouTube channel. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, making it, and uh, I really really um, find it interesting to kind of look up this this stuff just to find um, I guess content to kind of share with people. So yeah, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.